is possibly a solo rat off to the left. Portal coming out now from OTT. They are right on top of the ring here. Flanker already setting it up with traps. So, Streamy, Andre, Strong, and Blood Rain needed to get out of there quick. They, the Blood Rain and Andre just took a lot of damage from the circle. Streamy trying to get rezzed up now. And now Liquid, they already smell blood in the water. Vice wasn't able to survive long enough to secure that kill for himself, even though he got a knock. But he was the fourth man for Liquid here to secure this win for them, or at least it should be a win. And there we go, as they there finish them all off, Liquid will be able to take the first win of the day on that Pathfinder. Looks like it might just be clear, there is a Gibraltar bubble in front of them, and that might have been the opportunity. They could back off, but instead they get aggressive there. But Toffee does get rest, and Zipith has to back off just a little bit as the shields get cracked. They're gonna go ahead and make a push in here, though. And uh, they'll be able to finish off Nasky, Strafe, and Dell. Who is the other team on this side? There comes the knock. It's SJP2 going down, and AHG are having a monstrous first game. Wow, he's trying his best to stay on top of them right now. He's got the high ground with that alternator. Not able to do enough damage. He's got the hemlock here. 46, 46, and that's going to be pushing Epsilon as uh, they will aggressively push forward as well with that Gibraltar Dome now. Again, having difficulty as this fight now going downhill, and so they're able to use that speed, but the alternator, excuse me, the Hemlock coming out once again. And it looks like there might be a split by Hexagon right now, and the first knock comes out as Dennis will fall. And it looks like Epsilon will be able to win out this huge for them, but Alliance, Oh, they're trading away, and so they know, they understand exactly what's going on in this fight. They're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger now. R9 spray down, excuse me, alternator spray down for nine impulse, but he has to back away. Oh no, there's another oh. caustic in his way, but he's got the Devo, and we'll be able to finish him off and gets inside safely here. We'll throw down another trap as the Watson tries to push through. Nine impulse coming up huge with that Devo play along with that caustic. They're gonna be able to pick up two kills off of BDS here. SJP2 now pushing forward with that Gibraltar Dome Shield. Instant Q out from that Wraith as he picks up some more light armor to work with. He was dropping dangerously low, but speaking of dangerously low, the R9 spray brings that Caustic down as KD will be finished off to the ring in this. I think they just pinged Nocturnal, who's over um, at the edge of the ring. Mistral though, he was able to get res and now he's putting in work as Faizu and Nine Impulse will fall to him. They finally answer back as Claws will be able to clean him up, but so much unanswered damage now as SJP2 are going to be able to clean up the remnants of Na'Vi now. And the final player alive is Nocturnal, who is ready. They were pinging it the entire time, but Nocturnal stays alive. Sentinel getting reloaded here as uh, it's going to be difficult. Contending, of course, with that Gibraltar arm shield that can eat up an entire shot. But the headshot, the 95, connecting onto him with the 147. Denze goes down, and now BDS are going to knock out one of the top comp former teams game. fighting it out right now. Taishin and Mandy had to say goodbye to Matafe. Never got to see Full North compete, but now we do get to see them battle it out here. Big damage coming across. He does have the Peacekeeper trying to lay into them, but he's getting forced and pressured out. He has to queue down, but Manditrasa and Taishin will be able to find two, and now it's a 1v3 to finish it all off. He's got the PK in hand. Did decent damage, and they're gonna get the <laughs> melee knock onto Kuya. They just have to finish off the thirst, and it looks like Kuya is the final member alive, and North will walk away here.